my house, in my makeup room. <sighs> Shake all your fears away. Shake all your fears away. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel, Devin Make Beauty. I am Devin. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, hello again. <laughs> anyway, today we are doing a video I'm really excited about. I am doing the full face of ColourPop and I'm also testing out their new foundation and setting powder and pressed powder. So yes, we're gonna do a wear test. We're gonna do the whole nine. I'm really excited about it. I'm sure you guys swatches of everything I have. I'm using a lot of new products and a few old products. Everything new, I'll show you what it is. And let's just jump right into it. This is all ColourPop. No other brand is gonna be used here, except for eyelashes and mascara because ColourPop unfortunately does not have eyelashes or mascara. And I'm using my own brushes. I don't have any ColourPop brushes. Let's jump right into the video and get started. So we're starting with a fresh face. The only thing I've put on is moisturizer. We're gonna go in with the ColourPop primer. I will say I'm really nervous about this primer because it's a spray. It's not like, you know, cream or anything like that. It's just a spray. Uh, so I'm nervous about that, but full face of ColourPop, we're gonna do this, we're gonna get it done, and that's how it's gonna be. It is called Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. And it says shake it, hold the arms like the way, and spray. That's what we're gonna do. I will say a lot comes out with each pump. I don't know if y'all can see that all over my face. But yes, a lot comes out with each pump. And let this dry down. Now before, I like to put my primer on, then do my brows, then do my foundation. So next we're gonna jump right into brows. I'm gonna zoom in here in a second so you guys can really see what's going on. I'll do one brow on camera, one brow off camera. I'm using their Precisely Brow Pencil, which I bought a new one. I've used this before, but I bought a new one because I ran out. This is the color Black and Brown, and I'm also using their Pomade in the same color, Black and Brown, and their Brow Bosch Gel in the color Clear. So let's do that. Okay, you guys are all nice and zoomed in. First thing I'm going to do is brush my brows up, give them a little volume, because I have very thin brows. And I'm gonna take the Brow Boss pencil out of the case and shape my brows the way I want them to be. And I'm not an expert at brows, okay? My brows come out a little janky at first. A little bit. This is brand spanking new. Okay, let's see here. I like their brow pencil because it's really creamy and easy to use. It's not one of those ones you gotta really layer it up. You just put it on and it goes on the first swipe. Don't judge it now. I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer and it'll look just fine. I'm gonna do this other brow off camera and I'll come back once I do the other brow. All right, brows are almost done. I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep 70 to conceal my brows. Now we're gonna go in with the Brow Boss Gel to set the brows in place. And this gel is clear. I mean, it is white, but it dries clear. Okay, brows are complete. Now moving on to the most anticipated part of this video, the foundation. Now, I chose the shade Deep Dark 195 because uh, the comparison picture that they put up on Instagram they said, if you are Fenty Beauty 450, which is me, this will be your perfect match. I'm hoping this works. Uh, I'm actually, you know what I'm gonna do for you guys? I'm gonna swatch it next to my Fenty Beauty foundation to really see how this looks. 
compared to each other. Now let's see here. It's 0.85 fluid ounces. I know this costs $12 and you guys know the Fenty Beauty one. They look, in the packaging, one's frosted, one's not, but they look pretty similar to me. I'm gonna shake them both up to see <laughs> what we can get. I'm gonna swatch the Fenty Beauty one first. Now I will say the Fenty Beauty one is a touch, a touch, touch, touch dark on me, but compared to the 440, this is a better shade for me, I believe. I'm just gonna do one little pump here. I'm gonna blend it out slightly. So this is the Fenty Beauty. And wipe off my hand. And I like the pump. I Okay, I did take it on the package before I did this video. I just wanted to see what it looked like. But I do like that they have a little click thing to where you can open and close it. So I'm gonna open it and just pump it right next to that. It does feel more liquidy, that is for sure. Blend that out a little bit. And there is the ColourPop. Uh, ColourPop has a slightly more golden undertone. It is called, it is the deep, deepest golden in the shade range, I believe. But uh, that might be good because like I said, Fenty Beauty is slightly darker, dark for my skin tone. So the Fenty, for, so the ColourPop, <laughs> I'm getting confused now. So the, focus, focus, there we go. So the ColourPop should really be good for my skin tone. I'm gonna take these swatches off and we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna do one side of my face with a sponge and the other side with a brush so you can really see what we're working with here. And let's do it, I'm excited. I'm gonna put it on my little palette here so I can stripe it on my face and do it. I'm gonna do, I'm starting with two pumps and see how far that takes us. So it's really liquidy. Not super liquidy but it is liquidy you see it running um i'm gonna take a brush strap this on my face and we're gonna get into it. i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can really see what's going on here okay so we're gonna do this side with a sponge i'm just gonna do the bottom half of my face so you can see, and then we'll do the top of whatever works best. But it's supposed to be, I believe, medium to full coverage, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave all the details on the screen so you guys can see. But I already have a damp sponge here. I'm gonna blend this out and see what we get. This is one layer of the foundation. Still see a little bit of imperfections, but it is medium to full coverage. You can see, you know, all my imperfections here. So foundation, no foundation. And this is just one pump. And I'm gonna do, well, not even the full pump because I didn't use the herbs. Maybe this is one pump. Yeah, this is one pump. Now I'm gonna do one pump on this side with a brush and see what happens. I'm going with my, uh, Real Techniques Perfecting Face Brush, Expert Face Brush. And we're gonna blend this out. So I'm already seeing with the brush, it looks like more coverage with the brush. So we might do the brush route for this. What do you guys think? Oh yeah more coverage most definitely it looks like it's slightly oxidized this side looks a little darker than this side so i'm gonna finish the rest of the face with the brush and it looks like more coverage with the brush as well can you guys see that see my little dark spot right there yes yeah, so we're gonna use the brush but now you guys can see what it looks like with a sponge with a brush if you want less coverage or more photo coverage you can use either or but for the rest of the face, I'm going with the sponge or with the brush and uh, I'll use one more pump because that was two pumps. So three pumps total should do your whole face. And let's do that. Concealer. We're using also the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shades Deep 70. Same thing I used to um, 
to conceal my brows and the shade deep golden 60 and to contour hopefully I'm hoping this will contour well the shade deep dark 56 so the reason this is the contour let's go ahead and apply the contour color first I really want to see if this is dark enough hopefully it is This looks a lot darker in the packaging, or is it just me? Maybe not. Well, we already put it on, so I'm just going to put it in the areas where I contour. That's okay, because we do have a bronzer, and I know the bronzer will work. Let's also get our setting powder ready. The setting powder, of course, I got this shade. I believe it's called Deep. I think it's just Deep. Oh, Medium Deep. So Medium Deep. Um, let's see here. You get a quite generous amount of packing. This is the color it is. Nice dark brown color. I'm going to tap out a little bit more and put it in the lid. Now for the concealer, I am going to use my sponge to blend out the concealer and also use my sponge to apply the powder. Uh, I am going to go in with the Deep 60, or the Deep Golden 60, just a little bit under the under eyes because I like to lighten that up a little bit more, layer up on concealer. Alright, now let's blend out these areas starting with the contour, which I don't even know if you guys can see the contour anymore. I'm a little upset about that because I believe this is their darkest shade. Don't quote me on that. I'll put on the screen if it is a darkest shade or not. Let's go with the sponge and just blend out the contour. It really didn't do anything for me. Okay, so that is the contour blended out. Let's go ahead and blend out the concealer, starting with chin area. I'm a little nervous about the setting powder. Not all setting powder are the same, so let's just see how this goes. It's a nice color, I'll say that. I'm not gonna bake with it, I'm just gonna set it. It looks really nice. It does have a little color to it, which I don't mind. I'll do the other. Next, we're gonna go into the bronzer, which I'm also excited about. I wasn't excited about it until I saw Too Much Mouth's video. And she, I believe, is like either the same shade as me or slightly darker. And she used their Bits and Pieces bronzer, which is the one I got as well. And it freaking showed up on her skin, so I was like, oh my god, this is a game changer. So this is the, this is not the right one. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, here it is. My bad. This is the packaging. And this is the Bits and Pieces bronzer. So we're going to go in with this where I would normally contour and just bronze up the skin. This is how it looks. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but it'll show up. Okay.
Okay, moving on. Now their, <clears throat> what is it? Their sheer press powder. I'm going to use this first as a finishing powder. And then I'm going to wear this for the next five to six hours. Come back and use it to blot to my face and see how that goes. But right now I'm gonna use it as like a finishing powder. With the same brush I used earlier. All right, that's good for now for the, not really, testing this will be later on when I actually do the blotting with it. But for now, that's all we're gonna do with it. So next I'm gonna go in with their Super Shock Cheek Blush. I never bought any blush products from them because I just wasn't feeling it. I'm really stuck in my ways when it comes to blush. But we're going to give this a whirl. This is the shade Never Been Kissed. It's really, on camera it looks really pink, but it's not. It's actually like a kind of a deeper coral kind of color. So um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna just kind of put a little bit on my finger. Like so, it is pretty pigmented. Next thing I'm going to do is place concealer on the eyes and set them with a little bit of powder and then we'll go into the eye look. this palette here by Colourpop. This is the I Think I Love You palette. Uh, I've had this for a while. Don't use it that often but it is a nice neutral color palette. We're gonna use this, pop some colors in, and keep going with the video. We're going to go into a Super Shock shadow. This is the shade 8 track. It's like a green olive shift with silver, or gold, sorry, not silver, gold in it. I'm just gonna take this on my hair. I'll let you guys see it up close. There it is, I have used it before. We're just gonna take this with my finger and place it on the lid. Their Super Shock shadows are so creamy. I love how they feel and they're very pigmented. I'm gonna take the shade Blaze, which is actually darker, but it has more of a glitter effect, effect in it, as you can see. But this is the shade Blaze. I'm just gonna put this over the shade we just used. Next, we are going to jump into some highlighter. And this I'm really excited about because I already love ColourPop highlighters. So I know I'm gonna love these. It's just about seeing how they look on the skin. So, let me see, where's that? So I have a pressed highlighter and this is in the shade, ah, they put the shades in the pans. I don't know what shade this is. I'll, I'll put the shade on the screen once I finish the video. But I have two of the Luster Dusters. One is with the, the collaboration with Makeup Shayla. And of course, I got the shade Pose. 
this is how it looks in the packaging and i got the one of the original luster dusters and this is in the shade dewdrop i believe dewdrop is slightly darker than pose let's put them together and see yes it is it's, so make a shade one is a more rosy or goldy looking color and this is more of a true gold looking color but let's put them on the skin and see how they really look. I'm gonna layer all three of these. I on I'm going to set the face with the setting spray it's basically like their priming spray but this is the amber crystal setting spray so we're gonna use this I think it has a smell to it we'll see and we'll move on to the lips Okay, moving on to the lips. I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to go brown just because the eye is really golden y and everything. And I really want to use Hennyways, and I know Hennyways is like a brown. <laughs> so I'm going to line my lips with the uh, BFF3. And we're gonna go in with Hennyways. I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna swatch all or both of these Ellery Lippy Sticks for you guys so you guys can see. So this is Hennyways, a nice brownie color. And this is the swatch. It's like a burgundy brown. And before we apply that, I'll swatch Sissy. Sessie kind of reminds me of her original Ellery color. Just like in liquid lip. Could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. So there are the swatches of those two. Like I said, we're gonna go in with Hennyways. I'm living for this brown. It's like the perfect brown for my skin tone. It's not super dark. It's not my same exact skin tone color. It's magical. Okay, really quick off camera, I'm going to do mascara and lashes and I'll be back to give you guys my thoughts. And then in a couple hours, I'll be back again to give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and how it held up, if I got oily as the day went on. And I'll blot with the pressed powder. So, I'm back. All right, here I am with the finished look. It's very, you know, simple. I'm loving this brown lip. The skin, can we talk about the skin and this highlight? You guys, I wanted to put more, but I was trying to, you know, dial it back a little bit. But this is, this is it right here. I'm feeling this. I look real simple. I use my Dota lashes in the shade 306. I know it's just the outside case of it, but it's just in the shade, in the type 306. And I put their black lippy pencil in my waterline. Dual use, people. Dual use. I'm almost out. I need another one of these. But um, that is it for this video. I'm super excited about how this looks. Oh, actually, this is not it for this video. I'm going to come back in about four or five, maybe six hours, depending on what I got going on and do a wear test see how oily we get i'm not going to blot in this period of time but when we come back if i am oily we'll blot with the pressed powder 
and see what's going on. Also, I'm gonna do a flash test. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'll insert them after this part of the video. And that'll be that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really enjoyed this look as much as I have. I really hope you guys try this foundation because this is noise. Next time I wanna try it with an actual primer and not just a primer spray. Nothing against their primer spray, it's just, it's just not me. Even though my face looks really flawless, it's just not me. <laughs> but thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you here in a flash, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Devin, again. Um, so, it's been about, it hasn't been super long, but I do have some things I gotta do later. It's been about four hours, if that, and I'm not particularly oily. I see a little, let me zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. There's a little bit of oil around the nose, you know. Yeah, mainly around the nose and the mouth area. So, I'm gonna go back in with a little, let me zoom back out. A little bit of the pressed powder in the shade Deep Dark. So we can see how this how this works. On the bank, I wanna use the blended beauty blender I used earlier. If I wanna use a little powder thing, I think I'm gonna go with this and just kind of blot it in there. I'm not really sure how I wanna, ooh, that's a lot. I took off way too much. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna roll it, kind of my fingers in here, and just kind of press it into the skin. It definitely dried it, that's for sure. So I took some photos, which you guys have seen previously before this clip right here. Um, and it this setting powder does pass the flash test. I have no flashback whatsoever. I'm very grateful for that. So you guys, overall, if you're looking for some makeup that you can get, all of this, I believe, everything I used was under like $120. So if you're looking for a face that's pretty inexpensive, this is it. Like ColourPop is like, high-end but low cost <laughs> so that's always a plus um, i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video this is one of my favorite brushes <laughs> which is why i'm holding it anyway i'm sorry um can we see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and have a good day or night or whatever time it is you're watching the video bye